Hi, I'm Mike Garcia. Um, I teach in the English department and I'm the writing director at the college and I'm Ali Hoggins' advisor. Hi, I'm Ali Haugen. I'm a senior majoring in English and history and Mike is my advisor. I'm Britt Rhodes, professor of social work at Luther College uh, and I have the honor and privilege of being Gabriella's advisor. Hi, my name is Gabriella Vargas and I'm a sophomore here at Luther and I'm majoring in social work and I'm also the Vice President of the Social Work Association, so SWA. Hi, I'm Jeff Wilkerson, Physics Professor here at Luther College. I've been a road advisor for over 20 years and met many great students like me. My name is May Cody, I'm a senior at Luther. Um, I'm a math major with um, music and French minors. Um, so Dr. Wilkerson has been my advisor all four years, despite the fact that I'm not a physics major. Um, and that kind of shows how amazing the advising program is at Luther, where faculty is knowledgeable about things beyond their own department. What are your memories of, of that first road day when you came in? <laughs> I remember feeling um, really welcomed at Luther. Um, I had a kind of a family emergency on the road to road. <laughs> um, <laughs> And when I got here, I just really felt like I was well taken care of and people were there for me, even though I didn't know any of them yet. Um, I also remember um, I was a little worried about, I was bringing in some credits from high school and I wasn't sure how they were gonna fit in with Luther's system. And you went and talked to the math department and five minutes later, it was all squared away. And that was just amazing to feel like I was already being advocated for within the first like day of being at Luther. It's kind of having a comforting hands, so like someone lending a hand to us in this kind of really crazy new space that we've never been in before. Um, and I feel like this was probably one of the moments that I could probably finally take a deep breath and kind of feel a little bit more eased into the process of going into college. Uh -huh. um, I think going into road, I remember being really nervous beforehand because I was like, I had no idea what to expect going into college. Yeah. and. It's the summer before you start, so you're still kind of like in high school mode. Um, but then I think once we were meeting and we got to talking about like what classes I was interested in taking, I feel like I almost immediately like relaxed and was like, oh, like maybe college isn't going to be so hard. Like this isn't going to be like scary. Right. How has having a faculty advisor helped you during your time at Luther? I think having a faculty advisor has helped me a lot being at Luther. I think having someone who's with you for the four years, who like knows you and knows what you're doing both like academically and just like in your college life broadly helps you feel like not only like cared about like in college, but also like helps you know that like there's someone who's looking out for you and knows like how to be like, oh, like, if you're interested in this, you should take classes in this. Like having someone there to tell you that is something that I've always really appreciated. So I remember um, at Road, we decided to um, register me for Intro to Bib, which is one of the gen ed requirements for Luther. And just to kind of get that in there and out of the way. Um, and that ended up actually being one of my favorite courses at Luther. And I think it was a great introduction to kind of the liberal arts way of, of Luther itself. Um, I, I was like, oh, I'm gonna be doing STEM and math and, and all of that. And, and here I was in a religion course right off the bat first semester. And I think that really helped set me up um, for expectations about what, what a Luther education was, um, as well as, yeah, preparing the way for um, eventually having time to do other th things that aren't a gen ed requirement or my major, like I'm taking a drawing class this semester, spring of my senior year, and, and that's just amazing to have those chances. I feel like it's really gotten me to be organized and more like time punctual as per se, like, you know, making those meetings and being able to attend them and be there on time. Um, but also, I just feel like it's also helped me stay calm with the whole process, like, Entering a new year every year is really hard. I mean, you know, it gets harder. So just being comforted when you're, we're signing up for those classes is really great. What advice do you have for incoming first year students about how they can best prepare for road and for their first advising experience? So what I would say is that 
just take a deep breath when you get there. Um, kind of just take in your surroundings and just be ready to also get that extended hand to you and just trust because I feel like if you're able to make that bond with your um, advisor, it's a, it's a lot more fun and more relaxing and you'll be more confident um, for the rest of the year. Mm -hmm. Interacting with, with professors and students um, for the first time is, as I was saying, a little, it can be a little awkward, but just knowing that everyone's in the same boat and the, the Luther faculty who are there have seen it all, <laughs> pretty much. There's nothing that would surprise them, and if it did, that would be, I think, an awesome learning opportunity for them as well. So don't be afraid to ask questions or say, hey, I'm interested in this. Is this, how could I make this work? Don't be scared. Like, I think road feels really intimidating when you're coming into college but it's not like everyone who's there is there to help you like get used to college and what it's going to be like like your advisor is there to meet with you to help you like plan things everyone who's there to help whether it's giving you a tour or doing something else like they're just there to like help you get prepared for college and like start thinking about what you're interested in what is your favorite part about advising so I really just, I love getting to know students. I like getting to know kind of where they've been before they arrive on campus. I like getting to know what some of their interests and skills and passions were in high school or if they did a gap year, what they did during that year. Um, so I like thinking about that and asking students questions about their experiences so far and then thinking about how that maps on to some of the offerings that we have at Luther, both curricular and co-curricular opportunities. What would you say um, would be some impacts that you've seen for students that advising has done for them? Yeah, so I think one of the things um, about Luther is we, um, students and faculty get to know each other really well. Mm -hmm. And sometimes that's through the classroom and sometimes it's through the advising relationship, but it's really in that advising relationship from, the, from that very kind of first moment at Road. Um, where you're able to both do planning for courses. I mean, I think a lot of students arrive thinking they're gonna pick their classes and, and arrange their schedule, all the logistical things. But I think that the biggest benefit of Road and that first year advising is really getting to know each other and getting to know, like I said, your skills, your interests, what excites you, what kind of makes you come alive. Um, and then thinking about what courses we offer on campus, what other clubs or experiences are available, and um, trying to, to match those with what um, students are interested in. How do you think incoming first year students can best prepare to meet with their advisor? I think maybe the best advice is just to not get hung up on the idea of courses, of like mm -hmm. specific sections or you know what section of Pi Day or anything like that. There's so many variables, uh, course sections being filled, um, whether or not the scheduling works out, you know, whether you got to have any conflicts, and you just don't know in road because you walk in not having a sense of the course schedule. I think it's just best to not worry about those things, to say, you know, I, maybe the best way of planning is to define for yourself what you feel like you want from Luther College, broadly speaking. Um, if it's career, if you feel like you already have an idea for that, great, you know, kind of map that out on paper a little bit. If you're not ready to say that, you know, just what are, what are basically some of the things you want to get out of college. And that's a good enough starting point, I think, to help guide, like, the, the specific, like, road event, you know, picking classes and things like that. We try and at least build, build toward that in whatever way we can. Um, but I think, yeah, just worrying too much about, you know, like, what, what classes am I going to end up with? It, it, it's really hard to predict at that stage. You know, first year registration uh, has, it's, it's, like I said, so many variables, it's really um, probably not worth worrying about. And so I, I try and keep students from doing that, but I know it's hard sometimes. Right, it'll always work out in yeah, the end. Yeah, it does. Yeah, <laughs> gotta think long term. Get your 12 credit hours, be a full-time Luther student, but recognize this is, we're not writing anything. We're not etching anything in stone on road day. Everything can change. And once students arrive on campus that fall, in fact, there's actually quite a bit of flux. Stuff starts moving around mm -hmm. and, and there's a chance to change your mind. There's a chance to go to into a different course than what you scheduled. You can go to four different courses from what you scheduled on road day. So get started, but make sure 
that you develop. Make, sh make sure you're there to develop a relationship with your advisor. Talk to your, ask your advisor a question. Ask your advisor a question about what they work on and what they teach and start to think about how this is a, a, a two-way conversation that you're having. I, I really believe the universe is talking to you and part of my job is to get you to be open to hearing what the universe has to tell you. And if you think you know what the next 20 years of your life is gonna look like right now, it, you may not be as open to that conversation. So we're trying to have that conversation and Road is really where that starts, is to say how are you going to hear what the world needs, what you have to offer the world and how we're gonna merge those things together. And don't be sure you know right now what the answer to that story is. And so it's really important to get that started that day and, and to start having those kinds of conversations about how we're gonna talk with the universe. Um, so what do you think are some things that uh, the students coming in could do before they meet their advisors in order for it to be the most successful meeting? Yeah, I think one of the things I always ask students, um, you know, were what were some really exciting moments in high school? Whether they were in the classroom or they were in the community, you know, what were some things that you um, just really felt good about being a part of. Um, and so we try to think about, you know, some, sometimes that happens in a classroom. It's a, an academic subject that really sparks an interest. Maybe it's an, an exercise or an example or a documentary or something that happened in a class. And some, sometimes it's a volunteering experience. So think about those things that really kind of made you come alive in high school and how you might want to extend to those while you're at, in college. Um, I think it's also helpful to start thinking about where you see yourself in four years, um, but bring, bring uh, some adaptability and flexibility to that plan, kind of a willingness to say, this is where I'm at now. What does Luther have to offer me that might help me kind of extend those interests, expand those interests, um, and what new opportunities that I haven't even thought of might be before me that I didn't know about when I came to that first year advising experience.